All right, so another very important topic is um, if you use app, theme app extensions in your app, then uh, Shopify also requires you to give your users detailed setup instructions for the use of those uh, of those Shopify theme app extensions and they have some requirements here and if you click on that link then you will be redirected to this page right here where they have some UX guidelines for your app to follow so and a very important topic right here is this deep link and now what is a deep link I will show you so before um, in order to edit all those app blocks that we have just created we would have had to uh, come here to themes then click on customize and then we would have to go to catalog then we would have to click to this PDP and so on and so on until we finally land here and um, edit our L4 image gallery right but those are a ton of clicks and um, we cannot tell our users to go here and then click here and then click here and here and here. But what they actually want us to do as developers is we want they want us to provide our uh, users with a link that they just could just uh, click on and uh, that link will redirect them directly to that uh, page within their theme so they could edit that um, their app and bad block right away right so right now I don't have an uh, a link right here I will just briefly show you how you can create this uh, deep link but um, if you actually um, submit your app you will have to make a, another navigation point up here that's called getting started and within that getting started navigation item you will have to provide that deep link right so I will just quickly show you how to provide uh, how to create that deep link but you will have to position it on the correct uh, place then if you build your Shopify app so before we build that deep link I quickly just want to show you uh, the structure of that link how it will have to look I hope you can see it I just made the editor a little bit bigger so what is needed for this deep link is um, our shop name then from that shop name we would have to go to admin themes current editor context apps blah 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 templates blah 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 and then we will need the app ID as well so um, we would have to push all of, or take all of this and put it into our react files or our uh, JS files so that a user would be able to uh, click on that link and then be redirected right now first thing that we need is um, the ID of our app now where do we get that from again we will have to go back to our partners dashboard go to apps and if I'm here at my app I will have to click on that app and I will get the ID from the URL up here so that last part of the URL that is actually my app ID right and I have to know that now I will have to copy that command C then I will go back to my project now in order to save my app ID I will have to come back to my ENV file and I want to paste the ID right here and because I might want to use this ID in a uh, react file I will have to give this environment variable a prefix called mix and I'm gonna call it app ID because this mix prefix will make it possible for Laravel mix to get um, environment environment variables to uh, your react files right so later on you can uh, get this app ID 
also with the prefix mix, but we'll get to that later. All right, so I have my app ID right here. I'm gonna save that env file, close it, and I will copy this link right here. Now I'm gonna go to my React file. Okay, so I just wanna come to this component right here and I want to create a an href make it like this use some template literals close the a tag and say deep link right here then I want to go back to my app and just take a look if it worked at all okay and it worked it uh, created this deep link here for us but at the moment it doesn't do anything so I want to copy this deep link in here just comment it out let's see the structure so the first thing that I need is my shop name right now where do I get my shop name from if I take a look at this react dot blade dot php right here you can see that this div tag is where our react app lives and uh, you can see that it has a data attribute here and that data attribute is uh, the value of shop so if you go back to um, your app and if you inspect this element then you can see right here that data dot dash shop will give you the uh, the value for your shop. So if you would go ahead and say uh, document dot query query selector and take a look at this app and then say data set and then say shop. Then you would get the the value of your shop so that is exactly what we want to copy go back to to our component and say let shop name be equal to what we have just uh, gotten from the console right now we would go ahead and say shop name now say HTTPS and we will type in our shop name right now I'm a can I can copy all of this copy that now the next thing uh, is this mix underscore app ID and where I've got that from, I've told you before, it's a, in the uh, env file, right? So this is where uh, you can get this uh, your app ID from. So let me go back to my app and take a look if this uh, link is actually rendered correctly. All right, so I have my link right here. I have inspected it, and as you can see, uh, this is the href. So we have this, then we got our shop name right there, and 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 blah 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 blah. Now we got our app ID behind here, and if we click on this, then we should be redirected to our theme, and we should be able to edit our app block. All right, now let me test the link. I will open it up in a new tab and as you can see I'm redirected right to this uh, PDP right here even though it says app embed does not exist you can see it here on the right hand side that uh, my app embed does exist and you can also see this cute puppy gallery and whatever that we have just uh, installed before and so you can see that the deep link is actually working correctly. And um, yeah, so that is something very important. Those are two very important factors for you to get your app submitted, right? Because if your app doesn't have this deep link, if your app doesn't have this getting started um, page, 
which I might go over in another video as well, but that would be too much right now. But um, yeah, so those are the main two factors. So you would have to build this deep link, then you would have to install a theme app extension for your app as well. And um, yeah, those are those topics. A problem that I really had with those theme app extensions, and it seems like other people have had that problem as well, is that um, if you have a an app uh, in different environments, like a local environment, then you might have a staging environment and a live environment, then you would have to build um, three different apps in your Shopify uh, dashboard. So one app for your local development, one app for uh, staging, and one app for uh, your live environment and but all of those stages come from different branches within your app right you might have a master branch and you might have a have a develop and a release branch or whatever and uh, the problem is that you will have different theme app extensions for those different um, uh, environments so in the end, you might have a theme app extension live, staged, and develop. So you might have three directories for uh, theme app uh, extensions within that one project. And that is, I don't know, I don't like that concept. I don't really like that, but that's just the way it is right now. Um, there's no other way to do that. And so that's, the, that's, that's a drawback. Another drawback is that you always have to push your changes to that um, theme app extension every time you save the file then you will have to wait a couple of seconds or might maybe even a couple of minutes for to for you to see those changes that's another drawback so i'm not sure so for the developer experience it's definitely a drawback but maybe for the user experience and maybe for the merchants uh it's easier to or more performant to uh work with theme app extensions right so yeah <laughs> that's that was a pretty big topic and a pretty hard to understand uh topic and i hope i just at least uh could be able to explain you know an overview to give you an overview of those theme app extensions and um yeah so i hope you like that i Hope you can be able to uh, develop your theme app extensions now and that it might have uh, put some light into the dark and um, yeah so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye